Right now in Afrin, in North Syria, just a three hour drive from the US military base in Menbij and four hours and 18 minutes away from the Russian military base in Syria, there is a genocide taking place against Christians, Yazidis and Kurds by Turkish jets and Turkey-backed radical Islamic terrorists such as Al-Qaeda and Al-Nusra and another 11 radical terrorist groups. Let me be more clear. Maybe we don't want to hear about that in the 21st century, in the age of social media and the world where information can fit into the palm of your hand and a world where you can see and hear your stories in the real time. In this world, we are standing doing nothing while children, the elderly, disabled, injured, babies, men and women are forced to stay in caves and self-made underground halls in the cold winter or face Turkish jets bombardment and getting killed every single hour. So please, don't ask me about my support for Donald Trump during the election. Let me say sorry to my people and friends because Donald Trump used the Kurds for his political success to retake Raqqa from ISIS. Soon after Kurdish fighters destroyed ISIS from Iraq and then in Syria, Donald Trump left the Kurds alone in the hands of Erdogan and all radical terrorist groups in Middle East. And Russian Putin has no morals or humanity and dignity. Putin is the one who gave the green light to Erdogan and opened the Syrian air for Turkish jets to kill Kurds. Also, Putin told Afrin Kurds, you have to accept Syrian Bashar Assad's administration or face Turkish bombardments. And frankly, it doesn't matter who did what. The matter is that it's happening right now. People are dying and nobody cares about it. Erdogan set a close connection with UK foreign minister and the UK has licensed to Turkey 171 million euros in arms, principally aircraft, helicopters, drones and small arms. All of this have been used in Rajatown and Bilbila town for killing Kurdish civilians. That is why UK keeps silent on these huge crimes committed by Turkish Erdogan in Afrin. And they even support Erdogan's attack on Kurds. While German media knows that German tanks have been used during this genocide against Kurds in Afrin by Turkey, but since then, no one, even France, didn't do anything to stop the Turkish bombardments. UN Security Council and United Nations Human Rights Commission became a business club and they held a meeting in Security Council as request of France, but soon after Erdogan threatened them, they just closed the door and didn't say anything since January 20. After Afrin people lost hope from all these politicians and double standard world leaders, innocent Afrin people and church leaders sent a message to Vatican and World Council of Churches for help. But unfortunately, Vatican welcomed Erdogan with flowers and the Pope gave the peace symbol to Erdogan, the man who committed genocide in North Syria. Pope gave the peace symbol to the man, his soldiers and radical Islamic allies who cut off a Kurdish girl's breast and killing civilians in North Syria right now. I am Zilan Kandil. I am a Kurd and I am a Christian. After World War I, my country was divided between Turkey, Iran, Syria and Iraq. And now I don't have my own country, but I am a citizen of the world and I am ashamed. I am ashamed as a human being seeing Erdogan in the Holy Land with Pope in Vatican. I am ashamed to see humanity is dead and world leaders keep silent about Turkey's crime against humanity in the city of Afrin in North Syria. I am ashamed to see the world taken hostage by terrorists and murderers. They killed a Kurdish girl and they stripped her naked and chopped her body in pieces by NATO fake member Turkey and uploaded online by Turkish media. She was the one who fought ISIS in Kobani and Raqqa to save the world from ISIS terrorist attacks. But why is no one asking NATO member Turkey why you killed anti-ISIS fighter? Why her body was chopped in pieces? Why four civilians were burnt alive by Turkish army in the Rajo town in North Syria? Why isn't UN sending investigation to the region to see hundreds of villages leveled to the ground? There are still dead bodies covered under the bombardment and 160,000 civilians forced to live in caves and self-made underground halls. Erdogan is taking revenge and killing the Kurds because Kurds destroyed ISIS. But why is the world silent? So please. If you care for humanity, stand up and speak out about Erdogan's crime in Kurdish city Afrin in North Syria.